morning. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with the Pastors on this dreary, stormy day. It was a dark and stormy day. Yeah. In the words of Snoopy. <laughs> Every great story starts that way. Oh, well, this could be a really good Coffee with the Pastors then. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so we lost power overnight. It was quite windy at times. It's uh, still raining pretty good, but it's calmed down by uh, mm -hmm. by this morning. But it has us thinking a little bit about the theology and biblical contexts of water. Yeah. And storm. And storm, yeah. So, um, you know, in Genesis, in the opening of the creation story, we, we hear about how um, God, the Spirit, was, was hovering over the waters. And... Um, the waters is this kind of metaphor for chaos often in scripture. And so after God is hovering over the waters, um, God creates and brings order out of chaos. Um, so that's, I think that's a theological point that's made in creation is that, that God created something that had a sense of order, had a, made sense um, had a structure. Um, and so then you get into the New Testament and um, you get the stories, a couple different versions and a couple different opportunities where Jesus <coughs> calms storms. Jesus calms waters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and he says that he is the living water, right? I mean, so all of a sudden you get this shift from it being chaos to the water is the new thing that God is doing, and in fact, it is Jesus Christ himself, and the new kingdom is brought about by living water. So it's like this weird parallel universe mm -hmm. <laughs> going on where water is chaos, and you know, water is order. Um, it's a new thing that's, that's happening uh, among us, that God is even transforming the waters, right? I mean, that... Mm -hmm. that um, not that we need to look on the waters now and see chaos, but we look on the waters now and see life, life in Christ. Yeah, and, I, and I'm thinking about the, specifically the stories where, where Jesus calms storms and um, the text that Tim's going to preach on this Sunday of Peter stepping out in the water. Um, there's certainly a sense of... Um, you know, Jesus calming the chaos. No. no, no. <laughs> um, but also at the same time, you know, how frightened were the disciples um, when Jesus was walking out on the water? And so the, even this idea that, that God calms the chaos, calms the storms, um, brings order out of chaos, what may look like order to God may still look like chaos to us. Mm -hmm. And and thinking about that, especially in terms of like peace and justice, um, the process that we go through to um, find peace and justice often looks chaotic in human, in human perspectives, but justice comes down like water and righteousness like an ever flowing stream so there's there's a stool character to water where it's both um chaotic and scary and unruly um but that it's a force of god in bringing about um new creation yeah new creation new life so certainly it's it's scary um but there's also a sense in scripture that water is uh, <laughs> uh, generative. Yeah. yeah. So. You got a water joke for us? I Audrey? have a water joke. Of course you do. In fact, it's a it's a real solid water joke. Oh boy. Like that's the that's the what what's <laughs> what would you like to hear a solid water joke? A solid water joke. Ice. <laughs> Thanks, Audrey. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> may your day be filled with just enough disorder to keep you wondering where God is. Yeah. Have a good Tuesday. <laughs>